Then in 1944 came the last Jewish law. And in May 1944, all of our relatives, our Jewish relatives, were deported. They were locked in the ghetto. All of my relatives were in the Peitch ghetto. The National Railway apartment blocks were surrounded by a sort of plank wall, and they were all in there. There was a Jewish manual labourer, and because the Peitch leather factory had become a military factory which needed a workforce, this Jewish worker was allowed out of the ghetto to work in the factory. And this worker took them food in his sack. And this worker delivered them my letters and delivered me their letters from the ghetto. Ghetto, 22nd of June, 1944. My dear Gizzy, I'll describe for you our life in here, but I'm asking you not to worry, because for the moment it's not at all as bad as it sounds, and there are people here who've actually put on weight. So we have a little room with a window and a painted floor. We've arranged the furniture as best we could. We have Muncie's little cupboard and my extendable table, Ella's couch and my spring beds. During the day, we pile up the bedding with the mattresses on top and cover them with the two Himalaya blankets. Unfortunately, I left my eider down behind. I've nailed up my coat rack to hang our clothes on and covered them with a curtain. Sarah too is using my bedding as she didn't bring anything with her, although she's longing for her black polka dot dress. <laughs> 